Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome to today's video. It's all about number two. I never thought I'd make a video about number two, but here we are in the middle of making a video about number two. So today, we're gonna talk about can you or can you not go number two in your RV? That's a good question. And I'm like most of you guys. I'm a part of a bunch of Facebook groups about RV living, RV life in general, and just basic RV questions. And every week, the question gets asked in one of these groups, can you go number two in your RV? And the question is an acceptable question because they may have just gotten an RV, they're new to the RV life, and they don't know the protocol for going number two. I remember growing up with my grandparents, number two was a no-no because they were afraid of what might happen to that tank if you went number two in it or even flush toilet paper down there. So number two is raw off limits, but things have changed. RVs are different now, but I'm not making the video because of the question. I'm making the video because of the answers. So it's clear to me after reading all the comments and the answers every time this question is asked that there are some very distinct groups of people out there and their policies on number two. And it's kind of down the middle too. So on one side, you have people that it's business as usual. Number twos all day long, every day, does not change their policy. When they go from their house to their RV, they do not change their number two procedures. So that's as far as using the same toilet paper they would in their house. There's also a group that they don't change their number two procedures, but they use RV specific toilet paper. Then on the other side, you have varying degrees of no number twoing in the RV camper. Right in the middle, you have some people that will not go number one or number two, and that's explainable because usually these people are dry camping or boondocking and they don't have access to get rid of the stuff in their tanks. So it's understandable that their policy is no number one or number two because they don't have a way to get rid of it. Then we get into the people that have weird or different, not weird, different policies on number twoing. You've got the first group, number ones are allowed, but absolutely no number twos ever in the camper well that's leaving me with more questions than answers because what if you have an emergency number two show up what's the protocol or what's the policy on emergency number twos if you have to run across the campground to the bathhouse every time number two shows up it, it could be a big deal what if it's the middle of the night what is what is your policy what is your procedure there can be a zero tolerance policy on the number twoing because what if you get in a bind Number twos don't wait for nobody. What if you're on your way to the bathhouse and someone stops to talk to you? It's gonna be real awkward trying to let them know that you'd love to talk to them, but you got a number two that needs attention. And then there's another group who they will go number two in the camper, but they will not flush toilet paper. Instead, they put it in a trash bag next to the toilet. This video I'm making for the last two people because I wanna help you out. I'm actually curious, what kind of toilet paper can you use in your RV so that you can freely go number two without worrying about anything that could happen? So we're gonna head up to Walmart right now and we're gonna get a whole range of toilet papers from RV type all the way up to the super plush. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna set up a little experiment. We're gonna find out what kind of toilet paper can you use in your camper so that you can have a Number two policy in your RV. Now you guys, you guys let me know. What is your number two policy in your RV? And have you ever had any problems? We have actually had a problem. It was related to number two, but not because of the number two. We had a poo pyramid one time and it was because we failed to take care of our maintenance. We normally flush and dump our tanks at every move we decided to skip for a few movies to see if it was worthwhile. And in fact, it is worthwhile because we had the poo pyramid and it took us a whole day to get that sorted out. But the problem was not because of the number two or the toilet paper, it's because of lack of maintenance. Now you guys let me know, what's your number two policy and have you ever had a problem? We're going to Walmart right now, see y'all when we get there and we're gonna get some toilet paper. All right, we made it to Walmart. Before we go in and get our toilet paper, I'm gonna have to call Lisa for help because I don't know what's considered good toilet paper anymore. We've been living in our RV now for almost two years and we get our toilet paper from the RV aisle. So I'm gonna give her a call. She can help me pick out what kind of toilet paper we should use for this test. 
Also, since she hasn't been in any videos in a while, I figured you guys would like to see her, find out how the baby's doing and what she's been up to. Hello. Hey. Hey, babe. So, say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I miss y'all. <laughs> yeah, I told I told them they hadn't seen you in a while, heard from you, so I figured we'd call and ask you what you've been up to and how baby boy's do doing. A, yeah, do a welfare check on me. I'm That's still alive. We're all good. Uh, baby boy is growing like a weed. Actually, I just put him down for a nap, so he's uh, going to get a little rest in. So anyway, I figured uh, they've been saying nothing but me in videos, and they might be wondering where, what you've been up to. Since you've been on <laughs> the last four or five videos, she has not been supervising any of it. It's been me by myself. I did have her dad one day. Yes. But. I'm uh, interested to see what you've been filming. <laughs> so, I'm also working on one right now. I'm doing the number two video. Mmm, have fun with that. <laughs> so, I don't actually know what toilet paper to buy. So when we lived in the house, you had a specific brand, which I always got in trouble for not getting if I didn't do it right. <laughs> so maybe. Uh, so you want some brand names? Well, right now I'm gonna get the toilet paper that we use in RVs and the, the two brands over there. But I want yeah. to know like a range of like the one that people absolutely are afraid to try in RV. Maybe, maybe, maybe they work in RVs. We just don't know. So I want to try out the ones that would be like this is fancy or this is a great one but no way would I use an RV. Well, I want to find out, can we use it in an RV? Oh, okay. So my favorite one when we had the house was Cottonelle. Cottonelle? But I know, yeah, Cottonelle. It'll be blue and a blue label. Is that the um, one with the bear on it? No, that's Charmin. Charmin. Yeah, so definitely there's a couple different types of Charmin, I believe, and I know a lot of people like Charmin. They have good marketing. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go like extreme, like absolutely the far end of the spectrum away from RV. Oh, well I was gonna say if you wanted one that, I know a lot of people that can't find the Scott um, for the RVs or the boats, they use Angel Soft. Angel and Soft, so I okay. Yeah, I think it's very similar to the RV toilet paper if you wanted to get one that's kind of comparable. And then, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of the others. I'm sure there's like a, are you at Walmart? I'm about to go inside. I wanted to call you before I got in because I'm yeah, sure there's probably it'll look weird with a camera talking to you <laughs> in the toilet paper <laughs> aisle. They're going to think they're that we gonna... have a much more bigger problem than we actually do. <laughs> That's what I was just about to say. They're going to be eyeing you. wonder why <laughs> you must have had a bad experience with toilet paper. <laughs> so you're going to go try out all the brands. I'm sure there's a Walmart brand one that's not bad. Um, but definitely just go down the aisle. There's probably seven or eight different ones, but I'd say Cottonelle and Charmin are probably your top two um, as far as quality goes. Cool. So anyway, I'm about to head inside Walmart and get some toilet paper. Say bye to YouTube. Bye YouTube, we'll see you soon. Yeah, we will. We got our first adventure coming up not too far from now. Y'all get to see her and baby boy back in action. We're gonna start with the easy stuff. We're gonna get the Scott's RV. We're gonna get this Campus Soft. And we're gonna get the Camco. RV toilet paper. Now we'll go to the toilet paper aisle for household and see what we can get there. Look at this number two aisle. So we're going to get the Cottonelle Ultra Clean, the Quilted Northern Ultra Plush. We're going to come down here and we're going to try some of the Scott's 1000 because people use that. And we're going to come over here and we got the Bear. So should we go with Ultra Strong or Ultra Soft? kind of feel like we should do it ultra strong and then we'll come down here to the end and there's the angel soft there's angel soft oh that's a lot of number two paper people are going to be judging me when i check this out they're going to think that i've got a serious number two problem so that is a new high score for most money I've ever spent at Walmart on just toilet paper. But Walmart didn't have everything I need. We actually need some containers to store these in with water for our test. So you know what that means. We get to go to my favorite store. Welcome to Lowe's, my favorite store. So we're going to head inside and see if we can find us some clear containers for our test. Look at that. Did you guys know Lowe's sells toilet paper? I just learned something new about Lowe's. We almost don't need to go to Walmart ever again. They just need to start selling groceries here and I'll be set. So we found these paint can liners that are clear and they'll be just fine for our test. 
so we're gonna head back to the rv and we'll get our test set up and then we'll explain what we're gonna do all right so we're back at the rv and we have our toilet paper set up so let's meet our contestants so on this table right here these first three one two and three are all the rv specific toilet papers the first one is the camp assault by thetford the second one is the RV and marine grade toilet paper tissue by Camco. And then we have the Scott RV and boat toilet paper. Now all three of these right here claim to be rapid or fast dissolving, which I think is the appeal for our viewers. These two right here are kind of middle of the road. We have the Scott's 1000 and we have the Great Value Soft and Strong. I think these will be somewhere in the middle between the rapid dissolving and this table over here. This table over here is our Taj Mahal of number two paper. So you have the Charmin Ultra Strong, the Quilted Northern Ultra Plush, the Cottonelle Ultra Clean, and the Angel Soft. Now I'm gonna get my test set up and I'm gonna come back and explain to you what we plan to accomplish and how we plan to figure out which one of these toilet papers is best for allowing you to have a quality number two policy in your RV. Welcome to the super top secret number two testing lab. Let's go inside and show you our test. So what we have here is we have all of our contestants lined up and they each have a bucket of water in front of them. So my idea is I'm gonna take maybe 10 sheets of each one of these, put them in the water. And every day for the next seven days, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look at how much they've dissolved or what they've become. So that in seven days we can figure out which one of these toilet papers is the best for using in an RV? Now, I know some of you guys may not need to see a full seven days, so you can just use the day whenever you would normally dump as your reference. For us, we dump our tanks every seven days, so I'm curious, what do they actually look like after seven days of in the water? Before we get started, I actually wanna do like a little touch test. When I was taking some of these out of the, out of the packages, I had some observations I wanna share with you. So this, this Camp Soft by Thetford, this stuff right here, it's not that soft and it feels kind of rough. This stuff right here, I don't know, even if it is the, the winner, I'm never using that. This uh, Camco RV Marine, yeah, that stuff right there is probably very similar to the Scott 1000. Actually, I think the Scott 1000 is softer than that one. This one right here, the Scott uh, RV, it's not bad, it's a little rough. Now the great value surprised me. It actually feels great, you know? I actually didn't have much expectation for the Walmart brand, but this stuff feels pretty good. Now, you get over here to the uh, the comfort table. The Charmin. The Charmin actually is kind of soft, but it feels a little rough. I know Alicia's probably not. Actually, she likes the Cottonelle. The Bear. The Bear's a little rough. The Quilter Northern, it also feels a little rough. It's actually kind of kind of stiff, too. The Cottonelle. Now, that, that stuff's pretty dreamy right there. It's soft and it feels pretty, uh, I kind of melt the road. It's not too firm, not too soft. And the Angel Soft. Now the Angel Soft, I think, might be the softest of all these. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get 10 sheets of each one of these guys right here and put them in the water. So I put 10 pieces of each roll in the water. And right now, I'm gonna make a little guess on what I think the winner's gonna be. I'm gonna make a top three. After feeling them, I kind of have an idea of what I think might be the top three. I'm gonna tell you right now, this Scott's 1000, 
it's already doing something. So I, I'm gonna say that that one's gonna be the winner. Second place, I feel is gonna be the Angel Soft. And third place, I think it's gonna be the Campus Soft. So that's my prediction. How about you guys comment down below what your predictions are for the top three. Now, we're gonna wait 24 hours and we're gonna come back over here and check them out and see what's happened in one day. All right guys, so it's been 24 hours since we start our toilet paper test. Let's go inside the Top Secret Lab and check out how the toilet paper is doing. So, here we are, all of our contestants quietly soaking in their water. Let's see what they look like. So first up, the Campus Soft. It looks about the same as it did yesterday. Not much has changed. It's still right below the water line. The Camco is the same way. Not much has changed yet. And the Scott's RV is the same. So rapid dissolving. Well, 24 hours later, they still haven't dissolved a lot. Let's look from the side. They are kind of sinking, but they haven't really dissolved yet. This one right here is the one that's changed the most. The Scott's 1000. It looks like it's pretty much completely sinking. It's throughout the whole thing and it's almost see-through. That's why I think that one's gonna win. I think that one's actually cheating because we all know if you actually bought that, you would actually have to use way more than 10 sheets to do your number two business. But that's not here and there. So the great value one, it looks like it's still up top floating and it hasn't dissolved at all. You can still see that it's all clumped together. The Charmin, this one actually surprised me because it actually is a thick one, but you can see it's starting to sink and it's separated in the water. The Quilter Northern is actually sort of separating, the plies are separating, but it's still taking up a large space. It's sort of sinking, but it is moving throughout the water column. The Cottonelle has almost completely sank to the bottom. It hasn't really separated yet, but it's all on the bottom. And then the Angel Soft, it's very similar and looks to the campus off it's starting to separate a little bit and come apart and it's kind of see-through so it's very interesting right now i'm still holding strong for scott's as number one angel soft number two and i think the campus off will be number three now i know some of y'all are probably wondering why did i choose water well it's because there's so many different ways that people treat their tanks nowadays that i didn't want to try to confuse people by trying so many different methods of what works better to dissolve the stuff because that's what it is some of those treatments dissolve toilet paper i wanted to see how toilet paper reacts with just water alone so we weren't testing the chemicals you're adding we're testing how the paper does itself with just water stay tuned we'll come back tomorrow and we'll check on 48 hours of sitting in the water welcome to day two of the number two experiment let's go see how the toilet paper is doing so now all of our toilet paper has been sitting in the water buckets for two days now. So if you're a weekend warrior and you got there on a Friday night, it's now Sunday and you're about to dump. Let's see what the toilet paper looks like. So let's start over here again with the Campus Soft. The Campus Soft actually looks like it's doing pretty good. It's still together, but it is covering the whole water column. The Marine RV tissue by Camco looks about the same. It does look more clumped up than that one. And then here we go, the Scott's RV, rapid dissolving. It looks like it's still together, but it is separating throughout the entire water column. So the three RV ones are actually doing something. I will say the middle one is more clump than the other two. Now, the one I think is gonna win, the Scots 1000, looks like it's virtually see-through and there's nothing going on with the paper, see it? It looks like it's doing the best. Over here, the great value. So the great value is still sitting on top, has not separated, but it does look like it's pretty thin. Now, let's check out the good number two paper. So let's start with the Charmin. So the Charmin now has sank almost all the way to the bottom. It doesn't look like it's separating at all. The plies are still together and it's clumped up. The Quilta Northern is still covering the entire water column. It looks kind of like the plies are separating, but they're still clumpy. The Cottonelle has actually gotten tighter and it's all sitting on the very bottom. And then the Angel Soft. The Angel Soft is the one that's surprising me because it's actually starting to separate the plies. It's covering the entire water column and it looks almost similar to the RV ones. So after two days, I will say these three right, well actually these four right here and the Angel Soft are doing pretty good. The Great Value, the Charmin, the Quilted Northern and the Cottonelle, not so good. So we're gonna let these sit here for another day and come check on them. 
Now in honor of the number two, Alicia just told me, Kayla's currently potty training and she's celebrating her first number two today in the big girl potty. Welcome to day three of the number two test. Let's go into the top secret lab and check out how the toilet paper is doing. All right, toilet paper. How are y'all doing after you've been sitting in the water for three days? Let's take a look and let's start over here at the beginning. So we got the Campus Soft. It looks about the same as yesterday. It is a little bit more see-through. You got the Camco RV and Marine Tissue. It looks about the same. And you got the Scott's RV, which looks like it's spurting out further in the water column. And then you got the Scott's 1000, which is basically becoming see-through, like it's nothing there anymore. I will say, these three right here are supposed to be rapid dissolving, and I don't really see much dissolving. They are getting more translucent, almost. Well, that one's not really, but these two right here are getting pretty translucent. This one's almost see-through. Now we got the great value, the soft and strong. It actually looks like it's changed some. It's starting to do something. It's getting thinner. It's still clumped up on top, but down here it's looking pretty good. And you come over here, the Charmin is still sitting on bottom, just hanging out as one giant clump. That one's probably not gonna do well for an RV. The Coulter Northern is starting to separate a lot now. I can see the ply is coming apart really good. And it's covering the entire water column. There is still some clumping on top that hasn't sank yet. But this down here is getting better. The Cottonelle is just like the Charmin. It's laying on bottom doing nothing. So that one and that one probably not going to be ideal for an RV. We'll see. They got four more days. And then you got the Angel Soft over here. It looks about like yesterday. It's still spurting apart. The plies are coming apart and it's starting to become translucent. So that one's still doing good. This one, I, I'll say right now, this, is, this one's winning. It's almost gonna be, it's gonna be water by the time it's time to end this test. That one's doing pretty good. I think almost this whole table is doing pretty good right now. And the Angel Soft. These three, not so sure about them. So anyway, see you guys tomorrow for day four checkup. All right, guys, welcome back and welcome to day four of the number two experiment. So let's start over here like as usual. So we got the Campus Soft. It looks like it's doing something that's pretty see-through and it's covering the entire water column. Let's go over the Camco. The Camco, it looks like it's starting to all sink down. It is spurting apart, but it, now it's sinking. The Scott's RV. It has changed since yesterday. It looks like most of it is starting to fall to the bottom, but it is separating and it's pretty see-through. The Scots 1000, still doing its thing, still winning, I think. It looks almost translucent, look at that. It's everywhere and it's definitely the one that looks like it's changed the most. The Great Value, soft and strong. It looks about the same as yesterday's. It's still got some clumping on top and it's still spread out throughout the water column, but there's still a, a large section up here at the top. Now, the good paper. Charmin looks like it just bundled up and sank to the bottom. It doesn't look any different than it has the last three days. The Quilter Northern actually looks like it's starting to separate more than it was yesterday. It's covered the entire water column, and this part up here is still clumped up on top. This right here is really separating. The Cottonelle is just like the Charmin. It's clumped up and all sank to the bottom. Then you have the Angel Soft. The Angel Soft looks like it's starting to separate a little more too. Now, when I started this test, I thought that I would start seeing some drastic results, at least by day three. Well, right now we're on day four. We're over the halfway point of this experiment. I am starting to think I should have had two buckets. One would be the one I don't touch and one would be the one I do touch because there is some agitation every time you flush the toilet, there's water coming into the tanks. So right now I can't do anything about it because we only have one bucket. But we're gonna continue the experiment as we started and after seven days, if there's not a clear difference, we'll talk about the findings and then I might have a little separate experiment to see what happens. I'm thinking of doing some agitation to see what happens to each one of these tanks of water and toilet paper to see if they do actually react differently after seven days in the water. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, Scott's 1000 number one. I don't know if Angel Soft is number two anymore. I'm starting to think that the Campus Soft is number two and the uh, Camco is number three right now. Angel Soft, I think you're number four. I was gonna say Scott's RV, but now it's starting to clump back up at the bottom, so I'm not sure. Welcome to day five, and there's not much to report today. They all, Look about the same as yesterday. I will say the one that's changed the most, it looks like great value is starting to sink down in the water column. 
But as far as the three RV related ones, they all look the same. The Scots 1000, just getting more translucent as the day goes by. The Charmin and the Cottonelle, I'm gonna go ahead and say they're, they're, they're last place. The Quilton Northern looks the same, and the Angel Soft looks the same. Now I'm starting to think I really should have tried a different way to test this, like some agitation. Because after about day three, not much has changed really significantly in any of the toilet papers. Except for maybe these two over here. They've gotten a little better and the great value has changed a little bit. But for the most part, since day three, they've all been the same. So anyway, see you guys tomorrow for our day six update. Welcome to day six of the number two experiment. And there's not a whole lot to report, but we'll go through it again anyway. So the Campus Soft is doing about the same. It is starting to act like it wants to come apart. Like maybe it is dissolving a little bit. The Ultra Marine and RV tissue by Camco is actually starting to sink. The Scott's RV has actually sank all the way down into a pile at the bottom now. The Scott's 1000 still leading the way. It's basically see-through by now. The Great Value Soft and Strong is actually starting to like it's dissolving as well. It's starting to break apart right here. Charmin still doing its thing, sitting on bottom doing nothing. Colton Northern is actually looking like it's separating really good and covering the entire water column. Actually, if you the best one that's expanding the most and filling the entire bucket is the Quilted Northern. Cottonelle, just like the Charmin, sitting on bottom doing nothing. And the Angel Soft looks very similar to the Quilted Northern. So, still number one. This is probably number two. And I would say Angel Soft back in third place. Scott's, you're out of the, you're out, you're not in third no more, you're in fourth. Actually, you may not be in fourth. I think that one's fourth now. And Quilted Northern's probably fifth. Scott's RV, I think you're in sixth place. So anyway, see you guys tomorrow on our final checkup for our number two experiment. And I've already come up with some ideas on if we can agitate these and see what's really going on after seven days of sitting in water. We made it to day seven of the number two experiment. And I hate to tell you this, but not much has changed in the last three or four days. So I'm not gonna hold it against you if you skipped ahead to the end because how much of y'all can actually watch toilet paper sitting in water. But let's get to it. Let's talk about how all these guys did after seven days in the water. And we'll start over here as usual. So the Campus Soft, it looks okay. It looks like it's spread out throughout the entire water column. It is separating at the plies. The RV Marine Tissue by Camco looks pretty good too. It's starting to sink down and clump a little bit. The Scott's RV is the one that disappointed me the most. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the one we use. We'll use this one right here. This one looked really good the first couple days and now it's sitting on the bottom and it actually doesn't look like it's separating very much at all. It does, I mean, actually it's okay, but it's not as good as these two right here were spread out throughout the water column. The Scott's 1000, let's go ahead and say it. That's your winner right there. It's basically see-through toilet paper and it's spread out through the entire water column. Now this one surprised me. The Great Value Soft and Strong. It looks very similar to that one right there, the Campus Soft. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this one probably could be used in an RV. Charmin, you may be good at home, but probably not in an RV. You're sitting in a clump on the bottom. The Quilted Northern also surprised me because it looks very similar to the Soft and Strong, but not quite as diluted. So we're not real sure if that one's RV safe, but it looks very similar and I'm sure it feels a lot better. Cottonelle, just like the Charmin, sitting on bottom, doing nothing. Probably not a good idea for an RV. And then here we go with the Angel Soft. The Angel Soft looks pretty good as well. It's very similar to the Quilted Northern and the Soft and Strong, but I'm gonna say it's probably not gonna make the top three. So now that we've sat in the water for seven days, let's talk about the top three. That one looked good and that one looked good, but they did not make the top three. If I was gonna use these in an RV right now, it would go the Campus Soft by Thetford, the Scott's 1000, actually, the Scots 1000 is first, then the Campus Soft by Thetford, and then I would say the Great Value Soft and Strong looks better than the RV Marine Tissue by Camco. And the Scots RV, I think, is fifth place. That's crazy, because that's what we've been using. So now that we've completed our experiment and gave them seven full days of sitting in the water, I decided we need to have another experiment. Because I know when you're flushing the toilet, agitation happens you know from water coming down into the tank also whenever you dump we use this one right here and when i dump it comes out in pieces dissolved it looks great so maybe the dissolving happens when you're flushing or dumping the tanks and it's coming out the sewer tube 
into the RV drain. So, we're gonna get an agitator and we're gonna come and stir these and see what they look like with some agitation. I got this super technical agitation stick right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some agitating on this toilet paper in the water. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna stir each one and see what happens to it. Oh wow, looks like that one's breaking up pretty good. I'm gonna stir this one. I'm gonna stir every one of them. So anyway, it looks like something is happening. It's changing them a little bit. So I'm gonna start the rest of them and then I'll come get you and we'll talk about how they look now after some agitation. So I just finished agitating and boy, has this experiment taken a turn. All of them now look completely different with just a little bit of agitation. So let's talk about them. So you can see the campus off basically dissolved, but now it's sitting on bottom, but it's, it's, just, it's dissolved to all kinds of pieces. It's nothing solid anymore. The same with the Camco RV and Marine, but they are settling to the bottom with bigger clumps. Now, the one that we use, now I understand. This is the way it looks when it comes out. This thing is basically in just little particles and it's everywhere. And there's no big pieces left. Whereas these still have some big pieces. This one's almost like a powder. Same with the Scots 1000. So I'm gonna say, this one and this one are about the same. This one's more translucent, but that's single ply. This is double ply basically identical so if you're going to use it you might as well use one that's going to feel good instead of that one because we all know if you use that one you're going to use twice as many sheets as that one so this one is the one i would choose between the scots the great value is the one i probably would not use anymore it did dissolve with agitation but it's still clumped so it's still like a ball or like a, a clump of toilet paper so it's not really as dull as good now the ones that surprised me the charmin looks just like the scots rv it actually dissolved into a million little pieces and it's kind of covering the whole water column it's starting to settle but there's no big clumps anymore the quilter northern it dissolved but it's very clumpy like the soft and strong and sort of like the uh camco the Continental also did the same thing as the charmin but it's starting to look more like the quilter northern that it's settling now so this one is still kind of high in the water column this one's starting to settle the angel soft it did a pretty good job too you can see this whole table right here looks very similar but the angel soft still has some clumps in it like the great value soft and strong so now with agitation it's time to make an actual top three if i was going to use toilet paper in my rv i would definitely choose these two are i'm gonna say they're tied but because of comfort that's the winner because you don't need to use that one because that one did the same thing. So Scott's RV wins now. And I would say second place is gonna be the Camposoft. It's a tie. These are basically the same. So basically, I would say of the RVing tissue, one close second on those. But we have new options because I would almost go out to say that you could use Charmin, and Cottonelle in an RV, and they are actually more dissolved than the Quilt Northern or Angel Soft. So I'm gonna say it. You can use Charmin and Cottonelle in your RV, or Quilt Northern and Angel Soft. Honestly, the two I would avoid the most would be the Great Value and the Angel Soft because they still have clumps in them. They're not completely dissolved. But everyone else, the Cottonelle, the Quilt Northern, the Charmin, both Scots, the Campus Soft, and the Camco all dissolved beautifully with some agitation sorry that you guys had to watch this video for seven days and to get and see your results but this is a much different experiment now i probably should have had two buckets one i didn't agitate and one that i did for seven days so we could see that but maybe next time we'll do it that way i hope y'all enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and i hope you enjoyed testing the number two toilet paper and i hope that after seeing all this that some of you guys who are afraid of number twoing in your camper can now freely go number two. It's time we all reevaluate our number two policy in our RV and we had a quality number two experience. Now I'm gonna clean all this stuff up right now. And the funny thing is, is Alicia's parents are about to get a grab bag of toilet paper at their house. And it's gonna be a free for all. Anyway, in honor of this video, the first person that comments down below in the comments the amount of times I said the number two in this video. You know what? 
the first two people. So the first person and the second person that comments down below the amount of times I said number two in this video will get some free merch. See y'all later. Hey, are y'all still there? Number two, number two, number two, number two, number two.